Once again, Egypt finds itself helping to negotiate a truce between Israel and Hamas. Hamas is closely linked to the Muslim Brotherhood, which Cairo has vowed to crush. The Egyptian government has brushed aside suggestions that it has taken a back seat and declared it will do its best to negotiate a ceasefire. Adal Maruki has more. Criticism to Egypt's response to the violence in Gaza is gathering momentum. Some have even dared suggest the government has taken a back seat. The government has not fulfilled its role. We demand an immediate Egyptian intervention to impose calm and end the massacre promptly and decisively. Some, including Hamas's political wing leader Khaled Mishal, call on the Egyptian army to get engaged and end the violence. It's a call that was not directed to the army when Islamist President Mohamed Morsi was in power. Egypt is moving slowly and cautiously because the current situation raises suspicion. If the crisis was sparked off by the killings of the Israeli youth, why has the offensive moved to the Gaza Strip? Some reports allege that the violence is well calculated. Hamas to corner the new Egyptian administration and Israel to test its response. Many focus on the deal brokered over a year ago, but no one mentions that this deal contains clauses that requires the Palestinian resistance to acknowledge Israel, something the Hamas will revolt against. So there is some irrational international pressure over Egypt. Back in 2012, Morsi opened the Rafah passage immediately for humanitarian aid, while El Sisi opened it conditionally. The UN Secretary General has condemned the restrictions over the Egyptian passage, but didn't mention Israel's six passages with Gaza, which are all locked. On the other hand, the Egyptian Foreign Minister Samah Shokri confirmed on Thursday that Egypt is making all efforts to stop the Israeli aggression over Gaza. A crucial step for regional stability, Shukri explained. There might not be good ties between Egypt and the U.S. or the Egyptian presidency and Hamas, but there cannot be a solution in the Palestinian crisis without Egypt either. No one can doubt that. The Egyptian administration's relation with Hamas would not allow it to show support through physical presence in the Gaza Strip, like what Morsi's cabinet did in 2012. Egypt is saying it's not laying back, and it's doing its best to negotiate an exit for the safety of all Palestinians. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.